For many, card games are a treasured pastime, whether it's the joy of opening booster packs or testing out a new deck. There are many layers to what makes them so engaging. In the realm of video games, especially indie titles, cards have been used as a way to experiment with new gameplay styles to various degrees of success. Dungeon Drafters from developer Manolith Studios seeks to combine the best bits of card games with the roguelike genre while specifically taking cues from the Mystery Dungeon series. Bringing these two concepts together could be a recipe for success, but at the same time, something could easily get lost in the shuffle. So let's take a look and see if this is a winning fusion or if it should have been left out in the deck. Before we get into the review, we'd like to thank our Patreon supporters for making this possible. Please take a second to check out patreon.com slash noisypixel to support independent game journalism. As Dungeon Drafters begins, you will be given the choice of six characters, each with their own unique starting deck. This deck serves as your foundation and helps you understand the four archetypes. Each archetype is essentially a different playstyle, and while your choice sets you on a specific path, once you gather more cards, you're allowed to experiment with them as much as you like. For example, Red Raider cards tend to focus on dealing direct damage, Green Traveler cards are often influence your movements during battle, Blue Oracle cards specialize in indirect damage, and Yellow Warden cards focus more on defense and healing. Regardless of your archetype, there are hundreds of combinations to tinker with that provide plenty of freedom to practice with unique combos. Along with the main dungeons, a single floor beginner dungeon is the perfect place to test things out. While the game is an ideal playbox for anyone who loves card games, it provides plenty of handy and helpful info for those who are inexperienced with the genre. There are plenty of well-written tooltips and the UI is very user-friendly, so you're only a button or click away from learning the rules. Once your deck is built, it's time to head into the dungeons. You can move and attack freely outside of battle, but once you encounter a group of enemies, you're thrown into a turn-based fight. With three moves per turn, you really need to think about your options carefully, especially when faced with an unfamiliar foe. Like a game of chess, one wrong move can lead you into some pretty sticky situations. Since death sends you back to the hub and burns away any loot you might have found, you really can't afford to be careless. As a result, the game becomes pretty challenging, but most of the time any mistakes made come down to strategy rather than unfair systems. The difficulty is more about outsmarting the game and overcoming the often harsh challenge placed ahead of you. While the challenge is welcomed, I definitely feel like it might be too much of an obstacle for some. As user-friendly as the systems are, I'm sure that for some players, this level of difficulty just isn't going to be super appealing. Such a challenge is pretty synonymous with the roguelike genre though. And part of the fun is the gameplay loop of death, victory, and self-improvement. Dungeon Drafters is very addicting in that respect, and while I cursed myself from my mistakes, I always had the urge to get back on my feet and head back into the dungeons. It helps that the dungeons never get boring. Each of the main dungeons has its own mechanics and enemy varieties. There are puzzle rooms that test your wits for the chance of extra loot, replenishing shrines, and even some lore about the dungeons you're raiding. The bosses really put your skills to the test and ramp up the tension as you try to manage all of the various mechanics going on at once. The fantastic soundtrack also makes the venture pleasant, with every four changing the composition of the same song to keep things interesting. With detailed, colorful, and well-animated pixel art graphics, the visual style is super appealing. The characters only add to this charm with a great fantasy anime look. While you spend most of your time in the dungeons, there's plenty to do in the main hub. It's highly populated with colorful characters, and while not everyone has something important to say, it helps the world feel lively. There are several quests to take, and there are even a few side activities to explore. First, there's a fishing minigame, which is simplistic but can help ease some of the stress that might build up after a particularly challenging run. Then there's a slime numbers game, which took me a few tries to wrap my head around, but in the end, turned into a fun little series of brain teasers. And after you conquer your first boss, you unlock the arena, in which you can test your skills and battle prowess. If there's anything lackluster about Dungeon Drafters, it's the narrative. It's overall very simplistic and doesn't tread any new ground in terms of fantasy tropes. As one of the six adventurers, you are out to put a stop to terrible evil that has been sealed away long ago. That said, the gameplay is clearly the main focus, and some of the additional lore you learn while exploring the dungeons shows at least that the story wasn't an afterthought. With the high level of challenge present and the vast possibilities for unique decks, Dungeon Drafters is bound to last players a while. For the completionists out there, gathering every single card will take many hours. 
so the value here makes it easier to recommend. With the charming and polished presentation, engaging and challenging card-based mechanics, and a wealth of content to get sucked into, Dungeon Drafters is a real treat for card game lovers. The challenge might be off-putting for some, and a whole game centered around cards might not be the easiest to market, but the experience leaves itself open to those willing to give it a chance. Ultimately, Dungeon Drafters merges its ideas into a perfect, synchronous game that is easy and fun to learn, while also challenging and satisfying to master. Moosey Pixel is giving Dungeon Drafters an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers providing independent gaming coverage through news, reviews, previews, and more. Check out our Patreon to help support our continued growth and subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy pixel.